One of the first realities we faced with the Volt is the standard displays and gauges just would not work for this car. We needed to tell the customer a lot more than how fast they're going, how fast their engine might be running, and how much fuel was in the tank. We have two LCD screens on the inside of the Volt. The one on the center stack, the one that is in the conventional location, is your nav system, your radio, and your heating and, and cooling controls. And then it also has what we call the green leaf information. And that's all of the new information that people will like and learn about the Volt. We'll tell them how far they've driven electrically, how far they've driven on gas, what their combined fuel economy is, and all that information is on the center display. In front of the driver, you have a fully reconfigurable color LCD screen. The driver can choose how much information they want to see. You know, you can show state of charge, you can show uh, how much fuel is in the gas tank, what's your electric range, what's your fuel range, what's your combined range, or you can decide just show the odometer and the speedometer. You, the customer, can decide how much information you want to display on that LCD screen. There are many options to control charging in your Volt. First, you can do it from sitting inside the car. On the center display, you can program it to charge immediately when you plug it in or you can simply set a departure time and say you leave every day at seven o'clock. Um, you just tell the vehicle that and it'll optimize when to charge the vehicle overnight to be ready by the time you wanna leave. The second option there is you put in your utility rates and then you can tell the computer what rates you do not wanna charge at. So if you have a very high rate, you can say don't use this rate. The Volt's 35 miles of all electric range costs less than a bottle of water, about $1.50. Another option is the uh, Volt OnStar application. Uh, you could go ahead and get your full status from your phone, and you can also tell the car when to charge, and the car will also tell you when it's done charging. You can tell it to turn the air conditioning on if the car is sitting in a hot parking lot so that the car is, is ready. In cold weather, you can precondition the battery. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with our mobile apps. So we think people will become more conscientious drivers, more cognizant of their energy use, uh, more efficient, if you will, but also they'll still have the capability to have a lot of fun with this car, and I think they'll have choice, which is the wonderful thing that all of us want.